This is a Glock 43X, and this is printed on my Bamboo X1 Carbon. Now this filament is Elegoo Matte PLA, which looks great and it's not very expensive, but Matte PLA has about half of the layer bonding strength of PLA Plus. So it's really not a good choice for functional parts. I use it for testing, the fit of parts and for display models really looks great but it will melt in a hot car at 50 degrees Celsius which is I think 122 degrees Fahrenheit this is Soraya PET CF not to be confused with PET GCF the difference is this uh, has 10% fiber, it's very stiff, it's more impact resistant than PETG, but it still has the high temperature properties. So this is a great functional part. Now I used to use PACF, but that suffers from two problems. One is that you always have to dry it before use, another is that it will absorb humidity in the air and become quite flexible. And the third problem is that it suffers from really bad creep. So if anything is under some force, like if there's a spring in it or if there's a tight fitting part, those parts will become looser over time. So people have tried to do annealing and different techniques to solve that, but it's a huge pain and you're always fighting it. So that's why I'm exploring PETCF.